Welcome back ladies and gents and welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're going to be showing you a uh, a bit of software that can help you uh, create uh, extra... <laughs> welcome back ladies and gents, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're going to be starting a little series about a bit of software uh, called Overstream Studio which can help you, um, especially if you're doing sports uh, content, but they have got sections in there that can help you do more um if you just any other content that you do on stream and stuff like that so let's get into it so a little example of what we're going to do today is let me just bring it up so i made this quickly and there you go so just up there if you can see it there you can see it's like a scoreboard and we're just going to show you how to set this up uh well first download the software and then set it up in the app or in the software that we've got so let's just make sure we go to the bottom right there we go camera bottom right so first off we're going to go to this website up here as you can see it's called overstream.studio uh and then that's just the top so you can refresh it we'll we're, we're, that's what we're going to do i'll put the link in the description anyway um so download it from there uh oh Go to that link and then download it from here. So you've got the download link. Install it, follow the inst installation um, like any other program. And then it will load up onto your desktop uh, or wherever you want to put it. So when you are first confronted with the app, let me bring it up here. You, you This is what you see. It's generally in a bit of a smaller window, but overall this is what you see. So you've got compet competition score, comp current participation, starting list. Uh, you've got 3D Cube logo, which is quite a good one. I quite like that. 2D logo, full screen logo can be useful. I I will show you. I think you can still do that in OBS Studio without it. So we might not do that. We might might do that any. Well, we'll see. You can do a clock and then a ticker. Again, you can do tickers on on it, but the, this one gives you a nice um, um, an overlay style for it, uh, built in, ready to go. So. First off, we're going to do the competition score one. So in each of these, they've got console sections. We click here, and I have initially set this up. So these, these are obviously blank here where it's got the flags. Um, and I've just added a couple in. You can put your t first team, uh, your second team name. Uh, you can then, this is where you, uh, where you adjust the inside of the app as well, uh, inside of here, when you want to adjust it on the, on the game score. Uh, styles you can put the the color and the, uh, there the two different colors for the the overlay style uh, and then you've got a couple of different fonts which you can use I just left it on that one for now but you can obviously play around with it this section here auto hides it so when you click this so I press it now it will stay on for 10 seconds and then it will disappear uh, after 10 seconds so just keep an eye on that uh, once you've done all this you will press apply and then we can make it into OBS. Uh, let's, let's go back to my section here. Content, there we go. Uh, we can just press apply. Uh, and then we're going to go into OBS Studio to show you how to actually place it in there. So I've just got a test scene at the moment. Obviously, if you want to put this on, on other ones. What you could also do is you could make a, a nested scene for all your effects that you've got on there. And then just nest this over. So if you're not constantly doing sports content or because uh, a lot of this is based towards that then you can just nest it in a scene and then put that over your everything else so uh, right we're going to add in a browser source um, for this I'm just going to call it uh, score no again you call it what you want this one we're, we're going to do it 1080 uh, not 1080 blimey 1920 by 1080 right we're going to have that the opposite way around then we're going to need a link so we get this from the console again. We're just going to cross that one off for now. And here we get a link that we can just copy. See it pop up there on your top right. So it's copied the URL. This is all local inside your uh, 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 on your PC. And then we're just going to paste that into there. I'm going to press OK. That gives you the basic one there. Um, what we then do is we just go back to the console and then we just click apply this now then if i click my right one has changed everything there this is where you start and stop all your so we're just going to make oh press the wrong one there we make oh, too much stuff open that's my problem um 
at times. So this is where we can start a countdown. We can do a backward timer. We can you can do a forward timer. I like to do a backward one because it's just what I'm used to. Uh, but like I say, you can do a, a forward timer. Uh, press apply and then start it. Counting. Uh, oh, there you go. It's got it on 45 minutes because I started it at the wrong point. Uh, if you want to add a score in, you can. And so on and so forth. Or you can take it off if it's been rejected by VAR or something like that. So hopefully, um, th it's quite a simple one. Obviously, you, you can adjust it and make it fit your style. Add in the flags where needed. Things like that. So I think it's quite a good one to have. You, like I say, it will disappear. Uh, it will disappear on both of them here. Um and it's quite a handy way to control it. I, I've not tried to see if there's any hotkeys because that would be quite nice in the future. Some hotkey support. So you can just add things on the fly without actually having to go into the console bit. But there we go. Um, hopefully this helps. I will see you all in the next one. There will be a, a, a series of this. So catch, catch all these ones. I will put links in the description or there'll be a playlist. Uh, and we'll put that over on the, the end card here. So catch you all in the next one. Peace out.